Now, unlike restricting parts of your document where people can make certain changes, you can actually restrict them from even opening your document without a password. And to do so, all you have to do is make sure that when you save your document, Office logo down to Save As, that you come down here and click on the Tools drop down and go to General Options and then type in a password, whatever that is, that they have to know before they can even open the document. There's also down here a password to modify. So if you want them to open the document, then don't type one in here where they can open it, but they can't modify it, then type in your password down here. So type in one or the other, but not both here. And you can do a read-only document. So let's just do a password, type in F-U-N for fun, and then click OK. It's going to ask me to verify that, F-U-N, and then click OK. And then I'm going to save this to my desktop and click Save, and then close out. Come to my desktop, double-click on it, and automatically it says, hey, to open this, you got to know the password, F-U-N, hit enter, and I have access now. Now, if I want to change that, either delete the password or maybe just let, allow people to open it, but they can't modify, then I want to come back here and save it again, do the save as, so I can get my tools options to general options, and then go ahead and delete it here, and then maybe they can open it, but they can't modify it, F-U-N, and then go ahead and click OK, type it in again, F-U-N, hit enter, click save close out, double click to open the document. The best you can do if you don't know the password is read only, you can't make any changes, but however if you know the password then I'll open it up in a way that you can modify the document. So if I don't know the password I'll just click read only. It opens it up and I come in here and I try to delete it. I, I guess I lied. You can delete this, you can make changes. Uh, not so fast. Up at the top you see where it says read only. If I go ahead and click Save, it forces me to save it as another document. I can't overwrite the original, so I have to give it a new name down here. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.